Today what I'd like to show you in ITL is um, something that's a little difficult to teach or show or demonstrate because I'm going to try to show you my process and why I put certain groups of instruments at certain levels. So we're going to break the whole track down into vocals, drums, uh, music, keyboards and guitars, uh, music, um, high frequency information like cymbals, and then effects. And I'm going to show you by varying the, the volumes of these different groups what I was trying to accomplish, what you can accomplish different than me. And I, I, I think you'll enjoy it. Um, if I don't, I know you'll let me know, so that's a good thing. But um, if, if this isn't specific enough, let me know, and then within, within the drums I can show you you know, the kick and the snare, how they affect certain things. I think we've kind of gone, gone over that and beat drums to death. But uh, So let's get started. I, 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 I did this for myself when I was trying to formulate my ideas, and I, I thought I was doing a pretty good job at it. So let's jump in. Let me play you the song. Here's the song. I'll play a little piece of the verse, then we'll go up through the chorus. Right to town we roll. Don't tell us to turn it down. Cause you're too old and we're too proud. It's a crazy feeling. I can't describe it. My heart starts beating. I just can't find it. Dancing on the rooftop. Dancing on the rooftop. Listening to punk rock. Listening to punk rock. Singing. Okay, so now let me play you just the drums, piece of the drums. Okay, so, so it's a combination of some live drums, some samples. Now, let's bring in the music. If you want to cheat, over here on the left, you'll see the original numbers for the volumes at which I mix the song. So that's about a dB or two lower than, uh, than where I had it in the mix. It's actually a dB lower, uh, or 1.1 dBs, and it, it feels good. Now we won't be able to make final decisions until we get everything in. So let's see, let's pull it up a little bit and see what happens. That sounds a little more rock. Uh, I kind of, I kind of like that. Um, let's leave it, let's leave it up. Okay, now let's bring our, let's bring our vocal in. Okay, the, either the vocal's too low or something's too loud. Let's pull the let's pull the music down a little bit. Okay, that's better. Let's pull the vocal up. I'm digging that, but I lost the power of the guitars now. The guitars and the vocals don't feel like they're, um... Oh, hey guys, it's Michael Brower. Oh, he had a good time on the show. Cool. I'll hit him back in a minute. Um, that was for real. That wasn't a Beyonce joke. That was really Michael. Um, so, right now I'm feeling like... It's close, but there's some ballast mismatches, so let's... Let's go to let's let's weave it towards what I had for the final mix and see what happens. I like the ratio of the vocal to the drums. I'm feeling like I'm feeling like she's in front of the band, like she's got some power, but but my guitars sound almost like a two pop. There's not enough. This girl is 16 years old. She's Australian. 
she comes from the land of ACDC. Let's give her some credibility. Let's turn those guitars up and see what happens. I like the ratio of the vocal to the drums. Now the guitars feel like they're a little too much. I feel like they're fighting her. Um, you might have to rewind some of these examples. I'm, I'm trying to get it, I'm playing it one time. Normally I'd play these things over and over and just kind of feel the vibe, maybe walk just outside the room, see how it felt from another room. Uh, but I'm, I'm truly giving you impressions real time. These aren't impressions that I'm pre-thought about. This is what I'm really feeling. I think you're feeling it too. Made me smile, made me move, made me groove. Will's over there tapping his foot. I think we're on to something. Um, but like I said, um, the only real way to know if you're doing good is if you can measure it with a stopwatch like a, like a runner or measure it with a tape measure like a pole vaulter. This, there's no right or wrong in this. You're gonna have to ultimately trust your own feel. To me, that feels pretty good. Let's add the bass and see what happens. Let's see what we're gonna listen for, see if the kick drum kind of gets soft, see if the, the top end of the bass is conflicting with too much of the guitar sounds. Let's see what happens there. Okay, what, what I noticed is suddenly the song felt, started feeling like it had a little power to it. Like, this is, it's funny how, how those low frequencies just let you know you're not listening to a folk song, you're not listening to a jazz song that was, that was mixed incorrectly with too loud of everything. It, I don't know, it just, man, it just, low end is just the most wonderful thing on earth. Um, but but uh, as you can tell, I'm a little bit under where I normally was, but that was kind of where I first started feeling it. Let's go a little over and see what happens. It's kind of weird. That's not bad, is it, guys? It's, it, but it, 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 it makes me feel more like I'm listening to a little bit too much of a of an of an urban R and B thing, uh, even though we're obviously not. But there is an urban element. There's an urban element in everything because of the pervasive wonderfulness of hip hop. But I, I mean that for real. Hip hop just made everything better when it came along, and um, I like it, but. My drums got a little wimpier, so let's pull it back and see if it feels like the drums are, 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 are jumping back in our face and, and, and see what we get. That's a little bit higher than when I originally mixed it, but I think I actually like it better. Now. We've got a couple of elements left. We have no effects, and it sounds pretty good. Let's see what, what the effects as a whole are doing for this. got kind of mushy and I, I went past it. Uh, it got kind of mushy, didn't it? It just seemed like I couldn't, the definition on everything just went away. Let's listen to that again. Gosh, I didn't think that was gonna be that nose, but let's try that again.
Man, that's kind of neat. I scared myself. I'm, I, I have it a, a t like I think three tenths of a dB lower than I had it, but uh, you know what? That sounds pretty good right there. Um, now, I, I've, I don't have any cymbals in. Now with the cymbals, what I'm trying to do is right now the groove feels like don't, 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 don't. In the hook, I want the groove to feel don't, 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 don't. So let's see if we can make the cymbals lift the chorus and give the chorus a little more groove and a little more more feel and vibe. And now if too much, we're gonna get too much in that, that uh, the real pretty kind of pop music. And we, we can't be too pretty with this girl. She's, she's got attitude and we want, the, we want our mix to reflect and be a, a, a foundation for all that attitude. Just wonderful attitude. By the way, I love this song. So here's the effects. I mean the high end, excuse me. Here's the high end. That's where I had it. I'm feeling now like, like um, maybe I want to hear it a tiny bit less, but you heard when I went too much, it just kind of washed out. It, it took up too much space that other things need to occupy, like the, like the top end of her vocal. It, it started making her vocal feel like it was energyless because it was covering up the parts of her vocal that conveyed her personality and her energy. We did an ITL on that, remember? I'm gonna, dro I'm gonna drop it back a half a dB and see if I like it better. I dropped the effects in the in the high end back a little bit and uh, today I like that. Tomorrow I might put it back where I had it. Now, um, you've heard me say a, a, a few times all we sell is hooks and grooves. So let's mute the vocal and make sure we got the groove right. Feels pretty good, like like more bass. I'd cover up the kick. If the drums came down, we'd lose some power. Let me show you what happens if I do those two things. W watch me, and you'll see me pull the bass up. When I pulled the bass up, the drums got smaller. When I pulled the drums down, it wasn't a, a, it wasn't an aggressive mix anymore. It was, gosh, I don't know. It kind of went jazzy, didn't it? Well, <laughs> okay. Now, now let's let's check our vocal again. Okay. At that volume, it feels like it feels like a classic pop mix. It, it, there's a disconnect between her and the track. My ear is drawn too much to her and not enough to the groove. Let's let's go a little bit under now. It feels like it feels like she's not a good singer. It feels like the band is overpowering her. It makes her feel little and tiny at that lower volume. Man, whoever put those levels and mixed that at those levels knew what he was doing. That's pretty good. 
I hope you got something out of it. As always, let me know, good and bad. All right, see you next week.